Hello, 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 everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of My Secret Pets. We are getting into Chapter 2 of Lufna's Route, the cat. In the last episode, we just kind of got to know more about Lufna's personality, and in conclusion, he's kind of a butthole, which I guess is part of the course for, for a cat. But, yeah, I don't know, if, if my cat... If my boy kitty, like, turned into a man suddenly, he would just be this, like, fat, greasy tuxedo man. He would not be as handsome as Lufna. <laughs> and he would also, also he would also be super scared of me. Because I do always have to, like, brush him out because he's too fat to, like, groom himself properly. Oh, well. At least my girl kitty still loves me. She's normal. Alright, so let's get into chapter two, where we get to learn the reason for the breakup between Jane and her ex-boyfriend, I presume. Presume. I don't know if they're gonna give us the whole thing, the whole story in this in this chapter. Tuesday came. If that's how you feel, I'll help you. Help me? Just leave everything to me. That's what he was saying yesterday, but... Is he really okay? I'm a little worried. I guess I'd better get up and get dressed. Has he been, like, gone <laughs> like all of yesterday or something? <laughs> There's no point in just thinking and worrying about it. I've just got to trust Lufna and wait. Good morning. When I opened the door, Assam was already standing there with a brilliant smile. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I did. Thanks. It's gonna take a while to get used to this. Please come to the table. I've selected some herbal tea designed to cheer you up. Assam took my hand and led me to the table. No, oh. <laughs> sorry. What? What to pick? Um, option. Okay. <laughs> option two is the correct option. Thanks. Th thanks. Not at all. I'm happy to do whatever I can for you. This feels weird, but maybe it's not so bad. Hey, are you trying to get the jump on me while I'm cooking breakfast? I I would never. Then you won't mind taking your hands off her right away. Seriously, Lise, that smile! My apologies. Assam politely re removed his hands. Morning. How are you feeling? Any better? Raman came over and placed a hand on my shoulder. Yeah, much better. Thanks. That's good to hear. Hey, old man, don't you start with the harassment again either. Lufna stepped in between Raman and me and grabbed Raman's hand. Not again. I told you to quit saying things like that. He's right. Raman was only innocently trying to... That's enough, Assam. Hey, never mind all this. How about we enjoy some breakfast? Lise clung to me and had me sit down on the sofa. Today I made toast, eggs, bacon, salad. Oh man, he's trying to do everything he can to, to, to get the other pets mad. You're too close. Get away from her. I don't want to. Please open your mouth. I'll feed you. What? Assam poked a tomato onto his fork and brought it up to my mouth. Oh, we're we playing this game now, huh? Hey, what's the big idea? I'm going to feed her. Grinning, Lise stole away the fork. Okay, now say ah. Oh, <laughs> why is the correct the correct option is option one? All right, we'll play along. Ah. How is it? Good. Yeah, it's great. Then I'm next. Open up, please. Assam tore off a piece of toast and brought it to my mouth. Uh... 
How is it? It's really good. What do you guys think you're doing? Get away from her. Now I guess it's my turn. <laughs> Not you two old men. All of you back off now. Lifting the tour all the other pets away from me. Jeez, I can't take my eyes off you guys for a second. Annoyed, Lufna plopped down on the couch beside me. Hey, why should you get the best seat after yelling at all of us? Shut up. This seat's reserved for me. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we can make either of these options. You're too close or I give up. Uh, I give up. <laughs> it's too exhausting. Too early in the morning. I give up. No fair. You're going easy on him, Jane. Lufna looked at the food and licked his lips. Well, this looks great. He then grabbed a piece of bacon and popped it into his mouth. Mmm, delicious. Hey, don't eat th that. I made it for Jane. <laughs> bacon. Cooked. Pork. Oh no, I saw him. He's the pot belly pig. <laughs> Don't faint. Hey, Assam. Hulk. Hey, come on, man. Just try not to think about it. The eggs are bird eggs, too, after all. <laughs> Morning sure have gotten livelier around here. But... I'm having so much fun that all my troubles seem to have gone away. All right. I've got to eat breakfast and then get to school. It looks like you're feeling a lot better. Yes, it certainly does. There's seconds too, if you want. Get me some too. Not for you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I was scared about going back to school, but thanks to you guys. Just having everyone around has really helped. What should I do for lunch? I checked my watch, and when I glanced back up... Oh, it's you. The last person I wanted to see was standing right in front of me. Reito. Dozens of memories I would wanted to forget came flooding to my mind all at once. My legs shook, and all I wanted to do was run away. Why? Why did he have to be here? There you are. What should I do? Um, you can pick either of these. I don't know if like if it matters though. Usually, if like the cutscene involves you talking with with Rayto and like you try to run away, um, it's just gonna make you end up staying anyway. I don't know. Let's let's try to run away. No, I can't bear this. I just started to run out of there. Wait. Rayto called after me, and I stopped on the spot. Don't run away. Are you going to lunch? Um, um, yeah. He's acting like his old self. Do you want to eat together? Huh? What? You don't want to? But wait, wait, what? You're acting like we're normal buds now. <laughs> you can pick either of these choices. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We broke up, didn't we? How could we possibly eat lunch together? Why is he acting like nothing happened? I'm still depressed and hurt because of you. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry. I'm just glad to see that you're at least well enough to tell me off. What? That's horrible. Do you have any idea what I'm going through? I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd apologize so quickly. Now I feel bad. Anyway, if you haven't had anything bad happen to you, like being harassed or something, have you? Huh? 
Not really. Why would he say that? Why would he ask that? Oh, that's good. Have you... Are you being harassed? Does it have something to do with me? It's okay. Forget I said anything. Just as long as nothing hap nothing's happening to you. What? That's not okay. That... That's not okay at all. Why won't you tell me anything? This is too weird. You won't tell me why you wanted to break up either. This isn't fair at all. Do you really not like me anymore? I do like you. I still do. At Rachel's words, my heart hurt as if it were on fire. Then... But we can't be together anymore. But why? Why can't we be together if you still like me? I'm sorry. Let's not talk about this anymore. It's happening again. Just like the other day. The wounds in my heart that had just started to heal were ripped wide open again. That reminds me. Some guy who said he was your friend told me to talk to you. Huh? I was a little surprised. Pretty sure he likes you. Oh, is, was that... Was that Lufna? Did he tell Reito to come talk to us? Could it be? If that's how you feel, I'll help you. Lufna. See ya. Just like the day we'd broken up, he left without even once turning back. Why? Reito, why? That was... that was short. <laughs> oh wow, 12 minutes! <laughs> Record! Alright, let's save, I guess? I'm sorry to cut it short. Huh. That... That gave us, like, half answers. So, we could probably presume that maybe someone forced Reito to break up with us. Which I don't like either, because, like, if you're in it together with someone, like, if someone's, like, trying to blackmail you or, like, harass you, um, you should still probably stick with your partner and, like, fight it together? I don't think the answer is, like, buckling into the demands of, like, whoever did this. <laughs> Unless, it, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's, like, more danger to it. Maybe, like, life is at stake and he just needs to play along for now, but... If life is at stake, you should probably get some other people involved. I don't know. Alright, so what's the next chapter called? Chapter 3, A Jealous Ghost. What? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm, not, I'm now even more confused. Oh man, I want to keep going! <laughs> uh, but my, my voice needs a break. Alright, we'll figure this out. Next time, I hope you guys are having a fun time with this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye!